welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's an exciting one. I've got a collaboration video with the amazing Clever Claws here on YouTube and on Instagram. This is the Valentine's Day set she created for you guys. So head on over to her channel, I'll link it down below. And then this is the set that I came up with for Valentine's Day. So let's jump into the video. So I'm going to be using Cherry Blossom and Cotton Candy from Magpie Beauty Gel Colours. Starting off with cotton candy, applying one layer of this on to two of the nails. And then going in with cherry blossom on the other three nails. Now these Amagapai gels are absolutely beautiful to work with, you need to work with them slightly thicker than you would a normal gel polish, as they are a pure gel formula, they are super thick and creamy as you can see here, one coat is full coverage, it's absolutely amazing, they're beautiful to work with and all my clients get 3 weeks plus wear with these polishes, I highly recommend. So now after curing for 60 seconds in my LED lamp, I'm applying my second coat of cotton candy and cherry blossom onto each of the nails. And I think we just need to take a minute to appreciate how bloody beautiful these gels are. They're gorgeous. So pop that into your lamp for a half cure of 30 seconds because we're now going to go in with the Magpie Glitter and Magpie Dust. The glitter is Flow and it's beautiful like deep purple with multicoloured holographic. And the dust is Connie which is beautiful dusty pink baby pink. Using the detailer brush from Magpie Beauty to apply the dust and then I'll also be using the applicator brush also from Magpie Beauty to apply the glitter and just comparing them side by side you can see here the detailer brush is a lot smaller good for more detailed work so going in with that dust first from Magpie Beauty which is called Connie and I'm just literally dabbing it into that tacky layer of gel. I have half cured these remember so they've only had a 30 second cure so it'll be slightly more tacky than normal. I just find that really makes a good adhesion for the glitter and dusts to the nail. It depends what effect you want to achieve. So I've just applied that on the nails and oh my gosh it's like fairy dust it's so beautiful. And now I'm going in with Flow Glitter on my applicator brush and doing the same method, dabbing it onto the nail into that tacky layer of half cured gel on my second layer of colour and applying that over the other three nails. So once you've done that, just give them a little scrub, make sure you've got no excess glitter on there, it just helps to make the holographic come through, look how pretty, and then that will be going back into the lamp to finish that cure of 30 seconds. So now using my Magpie Beauty duster brush, and I'm just going to dust off all that excess dust and glitter off the nails, making sure I get every little bit. When you're doing this on a natural colline, make sure you get under that free edge and around that cuticle area to prevent lifting. Oh, they're just so beautiful. These are two of my favourite things from Magpie. So now going in with the Magpie Beauty Let It Shine, which is the top coat. This has a tacky layer, so you have to cleanse this off to finish. So I'm literally floating this over the top, starting with the dusts, because they are the paler colour. Floating this over one layer onto each nail, and then that will be going into the lamp to cure for a full 60 seconds. Once it's back out of the lamp, just cleansing off those nails, making sure there's no sticky residue left. And I'll be going in with the stamping design. So I'm using Moyu London Berry Licious. It is a beautiful purpley plum colour. And I'm using the Dixie Plate Love 2018. It's her new release, as well as the Mega Manny Mix 01. This is a beautiful plate, I highly recommend it. I have done a swatch swatches and review of this plate and the Mega Money Mix so I'll link that down below for you guys so you can check it out so you get more of a 
look of the plate so I'm using my Dixie plates this is the big red stamper it's clear so perfect for seeing exactly what you're doing and just prepping it with my lint roller so I'm just applying that polish onto the image that I want and then just scraping away picking it up with my stamper with a little roll and as you can see here it picks up perfectly you can choose whatever image you would like to this is just the one that I chose and then just placing it straight down onto that nail with the finer images I just hold for a little bit longer that really makes sure that the design is stuck onto the nail look how cute it almost looks like they've got little faces it's so cute so doing this on the other nail that has the dust as a base and that is those done so clean up any mistakes or anything like that and I'm going to be going in with give me strength now so I'm going to be adding some beautiful holographic hearts they are absolutely stunning so I'm just going to be using the dotting tool to apply the give me strength in the areas that I want to attach the holographic hearts to so I'm going to be applying three to each of the nails with the stamping in the middle of the heart on the design and then I will also be going to add three hearts on the other nails from the opposite side coming down so I'm literally just using my dotting tool with a tiny bit of give me strength to pick up those hearts and place them exactly where I want them I absolutely love give me strength for applying sequins and things like that into nail it works really well it secures them really nicely it's also really good for securing your Shosky crystals and any 3d art like that on top of the nail really good for that and holds them on for a good three weeks so it's really really good stuff really strong so now as you can see I'm just applying those hearts to the other three nails as you can see this design is really simple and easy to do it's something that's quite quick as well so if a client is asking for some nail art and you don't have much time this is a really good way of adding some glitz and glam and making it look quite complicated but it's actually really quick and simple to achieve quite a stunning eye-catching effect the holographic definitely catches the light and looks really beautiful and magpie glitters and dust as a base, you can't go wrong there. With paired with a little bit of stamping, beautiful, done. <laughs> So once you've got them in the place you want, pop that into your lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds. And then we're going to be going back in with Give Me Strength to seal in the design, seal in the sequins and the stamping. Normally I just go in with two layers of top coat, but because we've got those sequins that are slightly thicker, I find that adding Give Me Strength as my first layer it really seals in the design and really stops any chipping from happening, any of the sequins coming off or the glitter lifting or anything like that. It's a really foolproof technique. So after I've applied that on the nails, nice thin layer, I'll be going in with Let It Shine after curing for 60 seconds, applying one layer of that over the top of each nail and then curing that for 60 seconds. <laughs> So that is the design all completed. I really enjoyed creating this little Valentine's Day look for you. You definitely don't need to have this for Valentine's Day. It's quite a nice effect. But as you can see, I'm just showing you, you could work it from baby finger all the way to, through to thumb. That's how you could place this on the nail. Or you could choose one of the designs and use that as the ring finger as an accent nail. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.